Choo choo, welcome to the Hot Mess Express. If you are new here, hi, I'm Lena, and today I'm doing a video that has been requested recently quite often by a lot of folks, a lot of my subscribers, a lot of my followers, a lot of my friends really want to see me do this. So today we are, it's been a minute, uh, we're back on the capsule wardrobe train, and today we're making a punk. Lolita capsule wardrobe. Setup is a little bit different from my previous videos, but everything about this is going to be a little bit different than my previous capsule wardrobe videos. In fact, take all of the common sense things, well, like most of the common sense things, like 90%, 95, 90, 99% of the common sense things that you know from and learned from my previous capsule wardrobe videos we're just gonna like take that and leave it by the door just it can you can take it pick it back up on your way out but for this video we don't need any of that all you need is the basic Lolita silhouette and the rebellious spirit. If you would like to know more about Punk Lolita and get a ton of recommendations on where to find Punk Lolita stuff, I'm going to leave a link up above and probably down below. I'm really bad about doing that, but I'm trying to be better uh, to a Punk 101, which is not to be confused with Lolita 101. Punk is advanced Lolita. Punk is like when you want to take all of the common conceptions you have about Lolita and mess shit up. I like how I just like, I, I took one curse word out of that sentence, but I kept another one in, so this is okay. Anyway, so today we're gonna make a punk Lolita caps wardrobe. My regular garment rack is <laughs> heavily burdened and cannot be unburdened. So I've pulled out a new display and you can kind of see here we have all of our main pieces we're gonna go over them kind of one at a time as i have done in my previous videos but real quick i just want to like when it comes to punk lolita i want to say in advance we're gonna follow the main silhouette but we're gonna not worry as much about the rules because in the spirit of punk in the spirit of rebellion you should do what makes your goblin heart happy and just go with the feel of it when it comes to lolita punk punk lolita the combination of the two we pull in a lot of the different motifs from the punk aesthetic and if it's something that you think oh yeah this looks punk great um, if it's something that other people might think is not punk, if it's punk in your heart, it's still punk because that is the core of the punk spirit. So again, I'm going to re recommend you guys go to that video I linked and watch that. Let us get into what I have pulled for my punk capsule wardrobe. This is going to be probably a bigger wardrobe, capsule wardrobe, than previous ones I've done, but also I feel like the goth one was pretty big. There will be some overlap between goth and this closet, but uh, to jump right into it, we I've, let me show you guys the OPs and JSKs I have pulled. I've got two OPs and three JSKs, and I would recommend for your wardrobe to pick with one color tartan, pick your favorite color tartan. Do not be like me where I have pink tartan, I have red tartan, and I have purple tartan. Um, it definitely makes it easier to have a more cohesive capsule wardrobe if you pick a singular color and just stick with that. I did not entirely intend for this to be Putumayo heavy. However, the OP I'm wearing is Putumayo and I'm wearing a Putumayo skirt underneath that. This shorter sleeve, cold shoulder style OP is also Putumayo. And then this normal full back shirt OP is also Putumayo. I'm not saying Putumayo was like one of the best punk Lolita brands, but they were one of the best punk Lolita brands, and I'm not saying you should go out and buy a Putumayo because that means there'll be less Putumayo for me to buy, and as you guys can see, I've bought Putumayo. But they did it very well. Uh, this, the OP, super cute, a little bit short for standard Lolita. The other OP, I love these OPs that they have with the buttons all down the front. This one is actually an OP, and I've unbuttoned it to the waist, added a belt, added a Putsumayo skirt made out of the same fabrics. Putsumayo is great because you can color, like, match the patterns because they use the same tartan for all of the nonsense, even the headpiece 
from Pusamayo is the same. But anyway, I digress. For the JSKs, I've picked three JSKs, two of which, if you've watched my gothic capsule wardrobe guy, that was video number three, you've seen two of these already. However, well, let me just do them one at a time. I mean, I'll make my life more complicated. The first one I've pulled is this uh, Souffle Suffle Song. This is an asymmetric hem. Asymmetric hems are great. Irregular hems, irregular things are also great. This is even more irregular because it's got a cape. Like, I don't know any other main Lolita brands that have done dresses with capes. This dress is still available through Souffle Song. It is also plus size friendly, so I do love that. Um, they are not the greatest brand. I do not really endorse shopping from them generally, but this is a great dress and I got mine secondhand and I recommend you do the same too. Next, I have a pleather dress that I used for my gothic wardrobe. Uh, leather and pleather is very punk. If you want a full pleather dress, I say get a full pleather dress. It adds a lot of like, it's, it's a whole point of interest, and when you layer stuff on top of this, which you will be layering stuff on top of this, this is a great base because it stands out against everything else. The last th JSK I've pulled will be a big surprise to you. Here we have a Putamayo JSK. Again, do not be like me. Do not use every color. <laughs> this is not a tartan. This is a stripe. But I have at least three garments with the same stripe. Pick one colorway for your Putamayo things and then just spend a long time hunting for them. Did I change my outfit also? Yes, I did. Is this video going to continue to be this level of chaos? Yes. Next thing we're going to talk about is skirts or bottoms. I think I've pulled four skirts in total. I don't know if I consider all of them for this particular wardrobe, but I've pulled them out as options just to give you guys options. Now, first of all, we have, again, an asymmetric hem. This is a H now toe piece. I could not tell you exactly what, like, brand shoot off of H out of toe it's from. Actually, I mean, I could. I'm sure I can find a tag in here for us if I just wanted to take five seconds to actually find the tag. Well, that's the wrong tag. There we go. It is Anarchy. H and Auto Anarchy, which is very punk of a name that is an excellent line. It's an excellent item. It's got some weird fishnet mesh thing going on the side. The best thing about this skirt is it can be worn Pretty much, there's no front. Um, it's full elastic waist, so you could have the hangy bit in the back, you could have the hangy bit on the side, you could have this as the front, you could have this as the front. It doesn't matter, you can wear it however you want. It is a super fun piece for layering, which I definitely recommend. Layering, maybe not as many layers as like if we were doing cult party, but we do want to layer stuff up. Next, um, tartan. You cannot go wrong with a good tartan skirt. This is from Sweet Mildred. Sweet Mildred has done several different tartan pieces over the years. They have some super cute JSKs that would be super cute if you want to do like a cute punk instead of like a rough punk, which that skirt is a rough punk kind of thing, just to give you guys an idea. I love this. Uh, I have a few other pieces from the series, but just pull out this skirt. Let's put it up over here. I have an amazing cord that I do with that one. Next, it's Punk Lolita. Punk is all about breaking the rules. So Punk Lolita is the one time you can, if you want to be an Ida, go ahead and that thing you got that you thought was super cute back when you were, I don't know, 12 or the very first year you joined Lolita before it was all over the internet because I've been doing this for over a decade. This is the time you can wear this thing. It is absolutely too short to be proper Lolita, but that's okay. We're punk. Layer it up with something else or put it, you know, just a simple black skirt underneath it, which speaking of a simple black skirt, if you really want to, you can also just wear a basic, simple, uh, that's, one side. This one has the bows tied a little bit better. You can wear a classic old school style things with punk Lolita. You just then bring in the more punk elements in with the accessories. And those are the skirts that I've pulled for this capsule. Next, let's talk about blouses. Punk Lolita is one of the styles where it is appropriate to wear your graphic tees. Recommend band tees because it is punk. Punk is a style originally from music, so bring out your punk brands, bring out your brand, but make it punk if it's a band brand. You know what I'm saying? I don't know what I'm saying, so that's okay if you don't. If you don't 
feel like wearing a band tee. You can wear, I have simple basic Lolita Cutsos. I also have not basic Lolita Cutsos. This is a honey diamond nonsense thing that is absolutely perfect for punk. I have a lot of pink tartan. This is more pink tartan than the other pink tartan that I have been wearing. However, you know, it works because we're punk and the rules don't matter. You know, speaking of breaking the rules, let's just throw in some more pleather. Here is a beautiful full sleeve pleather blouse. If you've seen me wear this, then you know it's great. It's awesome. We love it. This was in my this was what I wore for my trash bag aristocrat outfit. If you know what I'm talking about, you know what I'm talking about. If you don't, I highly recommend you look it up. It was a really good outfit. It was also kind of hunk. Let's talk outerwear. I think that a proper outerwear thing can really make or break an outfit, uh, especially if you've got like, I do recommend, this is just a vintage jacket, but this is very like Vivian Westwood inspired. I know RRM Memorandum recently did a very similar jacket, but with like a larger lapel, which is very cool. Uh, but again, tartan can't go wrong with it. Even if you've got 50 different tartans, you just put them all together and that's very punk. We're going to put that guy back up there. Next, uh, I mean, again, you cannot go wrong with Putamayo outerwear. Um, I mean, you could because if you're trying to buy it and I'm trying to buy it, then we're both going to be having a bad time. But it is very awesome, it's very cool, so I do recommend you get some. This here is just a long style kind of zipper guy. Uh, you could, in theory, wear this as its own thing. I don't know why you would want to wear it as its own thing. I do think, yeah, they do have two directional zippers. So there's a zipper up here for up and down, and then there's a zipper down here for splitting it open if you want to do multiple for the layering effect, which, I love, super love. This one is a simpler, older Putamayo outerwear nonsense guy. It is just a rib knit kind of cardigan thing with a bunch of screen printed details and bejeweled nonsense on it. Uh, you can't go wrong because it's very cool, it's very punk. This guy's got animal ears on it. Animal ears in Punk Lolita are cool and they're cute and this is one of the few places where people will not make fun of you for wearing animal ears with your Lolita, although I don't think people really do that anymore unless they're, you know, like jerks. I'm officially tired of changing outfits, so you're gonna have me in this fishnet top and black skirt for basic low, basic level entry, you know, basic punk nonsense for the rest of this video. I hope you enjoyed all of that chaos because I did too. Let us get into accessories now. The first and most important accessory I think is a belt. You don't have to wear belts. If you have like a stud belt, Perfect. Love that. If you don't, you know, just a simple belt. This one's a white, so it goes with everything. It's got little heart-shaped punch-outs on it. Love this. Super cute. Great for bringing in an accent color, especially because so many of these things here either have white lace or white accents or silver screen print or whatever. Simple belt. Recommend getting at least one or two simple belts. Uh, corset. This is a Wopsie corset or Whoopsie, I don't know. People have questioned my pronunciation of it before. I'm going to be the first to say I don't know what I'm saying. But these little belt style corsets, this one I got off the internet and it is steel boned and it was reasonably priced. I don't know if they're still reasonably priced, but I love this. I have this in a couple different colors. I recommend getting a black one for this chaos that is back here. Next thing you're going to need is, uh, you don't need a bag, but I recommend a bag. H now tote bags are great if you can get your hands on one of them from just about any of their lines. I have a couple of gram bags. Uh, Bodyline used to do some pretty cool bags. This one's a skull print with a bow and then red tartan because again, red tartan. And I'm just here to have basically every tartan. Um, neckties are great for punk as are collars. I love harnesses. They are also great for punk. For headwear, let us just go ahead and cover that real quick. First of all, ridiculously sized crowns are also great. Crown motifs are popular in punk style in general, especially this style crown, but you know, the. <laughs> 
You don't want to wear a full size crown. That wouldn't be punk. But miniature, you know, this is also a place for miniature hats if you wanted to wear a miniature hat. But like, don't get a Leg Avenue one. Find a decent quality hat, but not too nice of a quality hat. I don't know if that makes sense, but that's fine. You want to play with proportion. Speaking of, instead of wearing a normal size Lolita head bow, I highly recommend getting ones that will absolutely, when you say head eating head bow, I definitely mean one that is, you know, if it's not the size of your face, find a bigger head bow. I love this. This one's a satin one. It's from the Lolita Collective. And I have this in most of the colors they release and most of the styles they release. I also, again, have to have every tartan. Here's a sweet Mildred tartan head bow. I signed up for this one a while back through her Patreon and I finally got it in. I'm very excited to use this, very excited to wear this. I believe that she has them in person at events if you want a tartan head bow. Don't message her. Her health is struggling and she is behind. Find her at an event if you want to buy from Sweet Mildred. Do, do support her. Sign up for her Patreon if you want to be able to order stuff online. Next, um, berets. This one is a beret that is designed to look like a harness, but if you don't want a harness style beret, but you do still want a pleather look, you can find them with different patterns. These are by different brands. I don't remember the brands. I got them both off of Closet Child for like $20 each, which is not bad at all for such really nice, well-made berets. So highly recommend those. They are cool. Um, general hats in general are cool. I highly recommend finding yourself a couple of hats, whatever style you like to wear. But, you know, play around with the proportions if you're going to wear just a normal hat. I think that is everything that I can think of for to put into this. So let us do some outfits that aren't on my body so you can actually see the whole thing. First up, I'm calling this outfit 50 different patterns of tartan because literally every item in this is a different tartan pattern shape, but they're all the same core colors, which I think come together in a very cool, super punk kind of look. I would pair this probably with just basic white knee-high socks and then some chunky black, like dark Mar Doc Martin boots. Super cute, very cool. Next, we have a very simple outfit using the purple tartan OP. I've paired this with the very casual knit outfit just to kind of make the whole thing casual. And then for just the position, I've paired it with one of the mini crown headdresses. This is one that's like an awkward size, which is even better for punk. If it's awkward, better. Uh, it's not large, it's not small, it's somewhere in between. And I think it really brings this whole look together. I think pairing this with uh, some fishnet stockings and maybe some purple Mary Jane Lolita shoes or tea party shoes would be super cute. For this look, I really wanted to use the asymmetric skirt. I've got it paired here on the least interesting side actually, just because I wanted to have all of that mesh on the side. I've paired it with uh, the pleather blouse, which I absolutely adore, as well as the shoulder harness that I was wearing a little bit earlier, and then the harness paired with the harness hat, and then the heart-shaped punky bodyline bag just for a pop of color. I think that adding a necklace here that was either a red pleather kind of uh, collar kind of style thing, and some fishnets to go with the netting on the side of the skirt with some Doc Martens or some red, like Demonia Mary Jane style shoes would be super cute just to bring some more pops of color into this. For the last outfit I'm gonna go ahead and make for this, I decided I really wanted to use this diamond honey blouse that is just extra in all of the right ways. And I just threw it over the Putamayo JSK that I had because who says you have to wear your blouse underneath your JSK? You could just turn the JSK into just a SK and wear it as a skirt that has extra support underneath the blouse because why not? Okay, well, that is my take on Punk Lolita. I'm, you know, the thing, the great thing about Punk Lolita is because it's punk inspired, the rules are really meant to be 
bent and broken. So your own punk style can easily be incorporated into Punk Lolita in whatever way you want to make it punk. And I'm like, how many ways can I, how many different times can I put the word punk into this statement real quick? But like, seriously, um, this is just my style. I recommend you do it you, you do you, and however you want to do you. <laughs> and yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video. I just decided to do it because I had an opportunity to film today and I recently got more requests to do it because I continue to get requests to do this video. So now I have done it. This video is dedicated to a local comm member named Shay. If you are on, I'm trying to think, where are, where can you find Shay? They have their own blog called Frill Squid and I'll leave a link below to check them out. The video I linked earlier is also theirs. They are an amazing little chaos gremlin and I love them. So uh, check them out and also all of their punk nonsense because they do tend to wear a lot of punk Lolita if you want to see it in action. I may post some punk Lolita cords here and there in my Instagram if you want to check me out. I'll leave links to that down below. I also have a Discord channel server guy for this channel slash my shop. I do make plenty of punk adjacent kinds of things that you can find in my shop as well if you want to check me out join the Discord. It's a fun community. It's pretty chill, and I'd love to make it be a little less chill. So let us all join the hype train. Maybe not the hype train. I don't know. Is hype punk? Anyway, enjoy the chaos. That was all I was channeling today. And if you don't like this video, that's okay. That's very punk of you.